Thank you for choosing Kaspersky Lab products and support. This video will edit a protection policy via the administration kit to create trusted zones that exclude objects and folders from real-time scanning. The Kaspersky administration kit allows for editing of existing policies to create trusted zones which will exclude objects, applications, and folders from scanning. To begin, Let's open up the administration kit, expand the policies menu. Here we'll edit the protection policy for Windows workstations. Select threats and trusted zones on the right. The policy properties window appears. Make sure you're on the protection tab and in the protection drop down menu then click on the Trusted Zone button under Exclusions. The Trusted Zone window pops up and you'll notice two tabs, Exclusion Rules and Trusted Applications. There may already be objects that have been added under the Exclusion Rules and Trusted Applications by default. Scan these and make sure that you're not trying to add any of these. If you are, simply just check the checkbox and hit OK to make that exclusion active. In our example, we're going to create a new exclusion rule. Click the Add button. The Exclusion Mask window appears. There's two ways to create an exclusion mask. One is to specify the actual location of the object. To do so, click on Select Object under the Rule Description window. In the window that appears, we're just going to type in the path to the object we'd like to exclude. This must be a local path, as this policy will push to each individual machine. Wildcards are also OK, as illustrated in the background here. If I'd like to exclude a specific folder, I have to make sure that the trailing backslash is added. If there are subfolders that also need to be excluded, check the Include Subfolders checkbox. However, if this is the path to an object that I'd like to exclude, then I must specify the object. Once I'm satisfied, I'll hit OK, and that object should appear under the rule description. The second way to exclude an object is by threat type. Check the threat type box, and under rule description, you'll be able to input a threat name. While not as common as excluding a specific object, you must know the specific threat type that is being flagged for a specific object, but they are classified in the Virus Encyclopedia. To learn more, click the Help box, and it will explain where you can go to learn more about threat types. Next, we'll specify which component we would want this exclusion to apply to. As you may be aware, Kaspersky Antivirus has a number of components. These are all the components that may be excluded from scanning that object. In our case, we just want to create a real-time exclusion. If desired, we could also select the other Kaspersky Antivirus protection components to exclude scanning of this object. For the majority of applications, the file antivirus is sufficient as it excludes real-time scanning of specific objects. Once I'm satisfied with the exclusion mask, I'll hit OK and the new rule will appear here. Make sure that you have the object checked for this rule to apply. When I hit OK and apply the policy, this will go into effect. The second sort of exclusion 
can exclude actual executable files or applications. As stated before, there's examples of defaults already included within the, the trusted zone. Let's create a new one to illustrate. Click the Add button. The Trusted Application window will appear. At the top, we're going to specify the path to the application. Once again, remember this is a local path. For sake of example, let's use a wildcard this time. Also, below th where I type in the path, you'll notice five different actions this exclusion can take. They are do not scan open files, do not control application activity, do not control registry access, do not scan network traffic, and allow interaction with application interface. Based on what this executable does and what I want it to allow it to do, I'll check each of these. Under the rule description, there are further levels of granularity, including specifying which network traffic I want to allow, which remote hosts I would like to allow, as well as which ports I would like to allow to connect. For details at any time on any of these screens, simply hit F1 or click the Help link. Once I'm satisfied with my trusted application exclusion rule, I hit OK and it now appears alongside the other trusted applications. To actually go into effect, I must make sure once again that the checkbox is checked. Click OK. Apply the policy. This policy will now take effect as soon as it propagates to the individual endpoints. This concludes our tutorial on adding trusted zones to Kaspersky administration kit policies to exclude objects, directories, and applications from real-time scanning by Kaspersky antivirus. For additional support options, please contact Kaspersky Lab America's Corporate Support. You can access our knowledge base 24 hours a day, submit a web ticket, chat with a support engineer, or call our support center during normal hours of operation. Thank you for choosing Kaspersky Lab.